Fantastic. We're live. All right, all right. We'll see how bad the lag is on this thing. Hello, Tea Time fam. Welcome back. Um, we're doing a live video today because I'm tired. So, <laughs> is this gonna be good? You can see by the title of this that I'm decluttering my tea collection today. Look at this freaking shelf. It's empty. All of the tea is right next to me. And I'm gonna go through it and get rid of some things that maybe I don't need. <laughs> so this is kind of like a tea collection tour slash declutter. And then I'm gonna later on rearrange that whole shelf. So we have a lot of stuff to do. Hello, Beverly. Welcome to the tea party. Oh, this is gonna be a good day. Beverly is here. So yeah, we are live tea partying it up. Hi there, Kitten Boo, how's it going? Wow, we have lots of great people here today. I love this. So I hope you guys are excited for a tea collection declutter. I have so much. I'm like, I'm, I'm like slightly overwhelmed, but it's gonna be good. It's gonna be really good. Uh, <laughs> I do have some tea. Isn't this mug magnificent? It's double-sided, very appropriate, and... Ooh, you have your Mad Hatter hat on? <gasps> That's amazing. Good taste. Speaking of hats, look how fancy this kitty is. Meow. She is so cute. Mm -hmm. I'm actually drinking one of the teas that I'm gonna show you that I'm not gonna be getting rid of because it's beautiful. Let me let me do that one first. I hope you're all having fantastic Tuesdays. All right, look at this. Isn't this the most beautiful tea container? Right? The fanciest cat. Who wouldn't want to be her? <laughs> But yeah, this is the first, this obviously, this tea did not come in here. This is from my friend Amanda. I think she got this in Taiwan. And inside, can't really see it. I have a really, really high quality um, breakfast tea from the Tea Room, which is a local tea shop. I'm actually drinking it right meow. Oh, you thought it was an urn? No, not an urn. These are traditional um, to keep tea leaves in. So no, thank goodness it's not an urn. It's so beautiful. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like the cup. Oh man, I'm so glad you guys are chatting. I always have this fear like I'm gonna go live and no one's gonna be here. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's that tea. That tea is gonna stay and the container is gonna stay cause it's real pretty. I don't know if you guys are into decluttering. I love decluttering cause it just, it feels so good. You just like feel this weight you didn't even know that was there. Just. Lift it off your shoulders. All right, I guess we'll move on to the next one that I'm also keeping. This one lives on my top shelf. This is that tea from Tivana, the, oh, it's like backwards. Um, the flowering pineapple blooming white tea from Tivana, rest in peace. <laughs> I don't think they sell this anymore. And actually funny, I featured this tea in one of my videos and it's now like my third most watched video ever. So that's exciting. And I keep it sealed up in here so that it doesn't go bad because it's really, really good. It's beautiful. I've done an episode about this too. Aw, I mean, you could try going live, Beverly. I know it is scary. So I identify with that sense of fear for sure. So I'm keeping those two. Oh my God, I have so many. Let me just, let me show you really quick. This is all the tea that I am going through today, layers upon layers in that box, like, yeah, we got our work cut out for us. I know, I know, I know, it's, it's a lot. That's why, that's why we're doing this together. I just have to try to be not like too attached to it. And of course, all the teas that I'm getting rid of, um, I'm gonna like run by Jacob, my boyfriend, to just make sure, because I, I'm pretty sure I know what he likes, but 
some of these teas, I, I think I'm going to be putting most of the ones I'm getting rid of into the I don't really drink these, what do you think pile? <laughs> I know on this week's episode of Hoarders, it's me. Oh, this is like empty. This is empty. There's like not even a cup worth in here. This is the Rishi turmeric ginger caffeine free tea. It still smells great like ginger. But this is going in the like, it's already gone. That's what the tea looked like. It's really, really pretty herbal tea. Tea hoarder over there too, kitten. I feel you, I feel you. Okay, so goodbye. Stop taking up space if you're empty. I don't even know why I do that. Jacob's doing Thanksgiving food prep over in the kitchen, which I'm gonna hop on and help with that later. Ooh, this is the Twinings chai. We bought quite a few chives for fall. Ooh, that's depressing. Who did that? Oh, put it empty on the shelf. Probably me. Beverly says hello. He said he waved. That's a hello, Beverly. Hello, Beverly wave. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep this. However, the box is kind of clunky. There's got to be a better way to store this. So another thing too is I have some really nice jars that I store stuff in. <gasps> Hello, Deco Angel of Wrath. It's so wonderful to see you here live. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy that like super cool people are here. This is so great. I'm just decluttering my tea collection because I have a problem. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna keep this, but I'm gonna freaking put it in something else because this is it's too bulky, too bulky. At least the boxes are recyclable, so that's nice. What next? Oh, this I'm keeping. I'm not doing a very good job of getting rid of teas, you guys. Um, this is Wild Yu Yi um, Heirloom Tea Co., which I got um, one of my favorite local coffee shops, Regent Coffee. Uh, one of the owners is from China, and he has a friend who I think his family owns this tea company. Gizmo's watching. Hello, puppy dog. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is like from China. He know his friend like hooked him up with this family that's been growing tea for freaking ever. And it's really good. Yo, let me show you how long these tea leaves are. It's absurd. Let me get like a thick one so you can really see it. Come on. Ah! This is not terribly easy, is it? Like, I'll try to hold it up so you, you can kind of see it, but like, look at how long this is. How beautiful that is. Like, are you kidding me? And my friend Helios also got these for me, I think in Asia somewhere. These little tea holders. People, I'm easy at gift giving, you guys. And also for Christmas, I usually get some new teas. So this'll be like, out with the old, in with the new kind of thing. This one I don't really drink. I don't really drink. It's a banana flavored tea and it's like, it's really fun. Don't get me wrong. This is Broadway's Chocolate Monkey from, ooh, excuse me, Saratoga Tea and Honey Co. This was a Christmas present last year. Hello, Rebecca. How are you? Welcome to the live tea party today. Um, yeah. So like, it's a, look at this, like it's pretty, it's cute. I just like, I struggle with banana teas, but Jacob really likes them. So I'll put these in the like, Jacob to review before disposal pile. And it's decaf, it's a red bush tea. So I'm putting that there. Um, this is Berry Young, which I got from Harney and Sons. They sent this to me. I did an unboxing about it. Look how stunning all of that is. Oh my word. I feel like this is a really good summer. Oh wow, the smell. Oh, it smells like strawberries. Yeah, this is white tea with rose hips, hibiscus, apple, orange, strawberry, kiwi, and goji berries and rose petals. So like magical, but definitely very warmer weather, spring and summer kind of thing. So I'm gonna keep this, but I might put it in the cabinet until it heats back up again. Um, but also cold brewing this. I did an episode about cold brewing tea and it's, it's brilliant. So I'll put that down there. 
because I'm gonna like keep it, but like spring and summer. You know how some people switch out their wardrobes <laughs> for spring and summer? Apparently I switch out my tea collection. Moving on to this giant, you probably couldn't hear that. Moving on to this giant box of jasmine tea. This is jasmine green tea. Um, Jacob really likes this and Jacob likes to cold brew with this. So I'm gonna say we're keeping this. Just really, we still have a lot you guys. This was a 100 pack of tea. I think we just hopped over to like an Asian market really quick. That's one nice thing about living in a city is like, I can go to the Armenian grocery store. I can go to the like Korean grocery store. I can go and get Thai desserts and pastries. I can, or Indian spice shops. I got it all right here. It's really, really incredible. So we're keeping that giant box. Although that one I think lives in the cabinet as well. So. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna make a cabinet pile. I'll show you the piles when I'm done, but like, girl, we're not even, we're not, we hardly made a dent. It looks like I haven't done anything. And I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight teas. <laughs> okay, what's in here? Ooh, this is chamomile from The Muffin Man, which is a tea shop in London. And this is the most pure chamomile of chamomiles ever. Um, and Jacob really likes this stuff. I drink it sometimes. I have to be in a very specific mood to do chamomile because in college I was obsessed and I out chamomile myself. Who can relate? <laughs> you just, you just have something so much, whether it's like food or a perfume or a tea and just out, I just out chamomile myself, but Jacob does drink this. I'm going to keep it. All right, um, oh yeah, here's something I can get rid of. So these are little tubes. I got these from Trader Joe's in like a 10 pack of different tea varieties. That's a raspberry black tea, so naturally I am never going to drink this. Also, these are like seven years old. No, not I haven't been in LA that long. These are like five years old, so. Yeah, too much chamomile. It depends. It depends. You gotta, you gotta be careful with chamomile. But I think I'm gonna get rid of all of these. I'll keep the adorable mug, obviously. But these are so old. Like five years. That's pushing it a little bit. Ooh, you want to try them? Uh, you can, I'm sure there's gotta be a tea shop online or somewhere near you if you get inspired. Um... I could do a video about like all my tea rejects, but some of these are so old, I really wouldn't want to drink them out of fear of like picking up some funky stuff. Um, all right, what is next? Ah, America's favorite tea, good old Lipton. It's just a jar of Lipton. Uh, Cause I, the box was so freaking bulky. I'm still getting notifications. Um, the box is so bulky, I put it in a jar. One of the uses that I found for this, maybe not so great. I know, I know. I just, I, I gotta declutter, I know. It's, it's crazy. I am, as I said before, I'm gonna have Jacob go through all of these and he might talk me out of getting rid of some of them, slash he might drink them. I just, I have too much, I have too much. It just happens when you're a tea person. Tea is kind of my job now. <laughs> so yeah, I don't feel bad collecting it as long as I drink it. So this I'm keeping because it's great for cold brew and for Thanksgiving on Thursday, we are gonna be cold brewing tea and coffee and this is gonna be one of them. So I'm hanging onto that. I know there's no such thing as too much, but yeah. <laughs> I know, right? You know what, Amanda? Maybe I should because you live so locally to me. I should just like make a box of the things that I don't want and pass them off to you. Oh my gosh, that would be so funny. Um, if there's anyone else watching that's in Los Angeles and would want some tea, y'all let me know. You'll have to fight Amanda for it. All right, moving on. Speaking of you, Amanda, I still have some of this really beautiful how, could I do a video about how to get life together? Yeah, absolutely, Ray Ray. That's a great idea. Um, 
Mm, Lipton is great for cleaning. It's great for cleaning? I, I heard from Amanda, who's actually watching right now, that you can put it in your shoes and it'll deodorize things. How else is Lipton good for cleaning? I want to know. Um, but yeah, I have this gorgeous tea. It's almost gone. Jacob loves this so much. We've been like savoring it. This is 100% staying. 100%. All right, moving on. Oh yeah, this is another reason why I want to declutter. Ooh, green tea on your hair and face. Oh, that sounds good. I would love to get into like tea based beauty things like making like hair rinses and face lotions and all kinds of stuff. So message me the things. So this is one of the reasons why I also want to get rid of some stuff is because things like this, this is a really high quality masala chai. Like this is the best chai, you probably won't, well you can kind of see that. Ooh, I have featured this tea several times on the show and it's just so stunning, but I don't have a place to put it. It's in a bag, which I feel really bad about and I'm afraid it's really gonna shorten the life of this tea. I mean like I, the inside is lined with a special liner. This is also from the tea room, by the way in Montrose, California. They have really gorgeous stuff. Um, and I like, I roll it over and seal it, kind of like a bag of coffee, but I really need a place to put this. So hopefully a container will open up by the end of this video. Tea-based beauty new series on the channel. I know, I really, really want to. I like really want to. I gotta do some research. Okay. Oh, going through more stuff that I will probably get rid of. So there are some loose bags as well as some more tubes. Um, the tubes are from Love Wild Design in New York City. Jacob's sister Katie got these for me and they're almost all gone except for two. It was a set of five. Great uses for those teas you don't plan on drinking and make an episode. That's a really, really good idea. So like so many uses, thank you for all the inspiration, you guys. All right, let's go through all these tea bags. Some of these tea bags are really old, like really old. Um, orange and cinnamon spice, great tea, like four years old. Christmas tea, delicious, four or five years old. Ooh, this is tea my sister sent to me, a white tea. Um, she said, this is the brand of white tea I drink and try this when you need a hug. My sister is the best keeping these. I love white tea. It's actually a uh, harder if, unless you go to like a, um, unless you go like specifically to like a Korean grocery store or um, something like that, like an Asian grocery store. It's harder to find white tea on its own. It's usually blended with things like fruit. Um, I do have a baking uh, with tea episode, Amanda. I made a chai bourbon pumpkin pie. Um, that is really, really good. And I also made a tea drink. I did a, I called it a hottie toddy, which is bourbon soaked with chai with maple syrup and then brewed into a tea. It's so good. How long does your loose leaf tea last? You've had some for over a year and are they still good? Yeah, I yeah, I agree, study geek. They are good for a few years. That's why I am usually really picky about the way I store them. I would store your loose leaf teas in like an airtight container or something that seals off like a jar or um, I have a lot of tins. These are great, especially because they have a top and you open it and it keeps the tea fresher longer. So these are really great. I got these for like a dollar at World Market, I think. Um, and obviously they're great because they're reusable. You can get them in a bunch of different colors. This is just the color that was on sale. Um, and these are really phenomenal for keeping your tea fresh. So. You can make them last for a couple of years, for sure. And it depends on the tea and, but like, these are also old. Oh no, I sense hiccups coming. Ooh, chai tea cookies. Yes, I made Earl Grey cookies too. <gasps> oh no. It was like a shortbread cookie. 
Mm -mm. <laughs> I have the hiccups. It's okay. Oh man, that's a good burp on there. I mean, hiccups are not that bad. It's just irritating. Like if I was filming right now and not live, I would just stop the camera and come back. We have a whole gang of great people in here, Jacob. It's very exciting. I think I've thwarted them for now. They can kill you. Ooh. Good thing I'm pretty good at getting rid of them. Mm. So good. Oh, I, that was kind of impressive, you guys. I think I only hiccuped like three times. But these teas, especially so like tea bags, they do not last as long because generally the tea inside is milled much finer. So when you grind them or, or when they're put in the tea bags and they're so finely ground, because you have more surface area of the tea and other ingredients exposed to the air, even if it is wrapped up in here, there's still air in here. Um, so they just go worse faster. So the nice thing about buying a nice tea is that if you store it properly, it pays for itself because it can last you so much longer. So these are all really old. Goodbye, old friends. I guess this is goodbye, old pal. You've been a perfect friend. Oh no, my musical bits are bursting forth. I have two bags of rose. Mmm, I love these. These are from Bird Pick. Bird Pick had to close its doors, you, you guys. They are still available online. I talked about this briefly on one of the last podcasts, I think two podcasts ago. Um, but yeah, these are from Bulgaria. These are European roses. This is the more like classic rosy floral flavor and they're gorgeous. Like look at these little buds. So stunning. I'll usually blend these myself with a black tea or another kind of tea. Ooh, rose tea with fresh strawberries. Yes, that sounds amazing. Um, and then this is China Rose from Shandong, China. Um, these have a much more, it's more of an earthy floral flavor as opposed to like a classic pure floral flavor. Um, and these are stunning. These are staying. And don't they just look gorgeous? But also I would really love to have some jars for these so you can really, really see. Oh. A vacuum seal technology would affect things. I'm sure vacuum seal would be great. You just would be careful not to want to crush the leaves, but I think it would definitely be a way to keep it fresher. And yes, into the woods. <laughs> I've been in Into the Woods twice now. I've been in two productions of Into the Woods. So it has a special place. Ooh, speaking of bag tea, this one is not that old. Hello. There's only like, six bags left in here. This is well rested from Trader Joe's. This is a mint and chamomile lemongrass blend. It's kind of like a, it's a variation on the classic sleepy time tea. Um, and this is really good and it's one of my favorites to have at the end of the day, so. Staying. This is a lot harder than I thought. <laughs> oh yeah, I was gonna move on to the rest of this. So I've, Finished three of these. There's about two cups of tea worth in each thing. It's like a nice sampler thing. This one has a red X on the top. This is like a vanilla cream Earl Grey because when I drank it, I started having trouble breathing. Don't know what, I don't know why. I know, right? Get the hoarder show in. I can't let go. I don't feel terribly guilty because tea's kind of my job. Um, and what I usually do is I do an initial purge like this of everything and then a couple months later I'll kind of see what I'm drinking, what I'm not drinking, and I'll do a second purge and declutter a second time. But yeah, exactly. Yikes. So this real gray that I had trouble breathing for some reason has a red X on it. I'm just gonna throw it away. And then... I have one tube of this that I haven't opened yet and it smells freaking awesome. This one is number one. So this is Afternoon Apricot, which is Ceylon Darjeeling Mango Apricot and Jasmine Buds. Yo, and I haven't opened it yet. And these aren't that old. I just got these 
Jacob's younger sister gave these to me for my birthday this year in June. So mm. this is definitely, I think this is the only tube thing I'm keeping out of all of them. It reminds me of the Princess Peach tea, but like more apricot, less peach. So this is staying. But I got rid of all the other things, which are empty. Why do I do this? I just empty it and then I'm like, well, this is gonna be on the shelf. <laughs> um, more bird pick, Tranquilla Tea. This is very much like the well-rested herbal blend from Trader Joe's, except fancier and loose and better and more delicious. I featured this last year on the show. I've had this for a little less than a year. Yeah, but it's really stunning. It's chamomile, mint, and lavender. Oh, so good. Um, so yeah, this is beautiful. Woohoo! All right, what's next? I have so much. Ooh, these are actually, let me pull out this tea. Sneak peek, you, you guys. These I'm gonna use in an upcoming video. These were sent to me, my friend from college, Colin, was in China. He didn't know what these were, and he was like, hey, I just got some tea, I have no idea what it is, but I thought of you and I really wanna send it to you. And that's awesome. So I was supposed to film that one for today's video, but I'm just, I'm, I've been really tired this week. So, yeah, these, it's actually poor tea um, that is made with dried citrus peels. So, yeah, I will, I will let you know how it is. Um, so I, I'm still going to film a video with these. I'm really thankful <laughs> that uh, my friends Amanda and Ruby were over this week. Um, like, Ruby's from Taiwan, and I was like, can you read what this says so I know what it is? And so I know how to brew it and stuff. So these are coming for an episode. The one poor tea I've tried in the past I didn't really like. It was a rose one. But I think because this is citrus, I, I th I'm going to give this a chance. So if I hate it, it'll be gone in the next declutter round two. <laughs> uh, oh, this is from Beverly the Yorkshire tea, which we both love very much. And I still have a fair amount left, so keeping that, that'll be good. Mm, just the smell of it. That's the one tea I drink with milk and sugar. <laughs> yeah, go show Beverly Butterfly some love. She has a really, really wonderful, uplifting channel. She's a badass. I did a video collab with her. Oh, you know what? I was actually planning on brewing this today. This is the best Earl Grey in the whole world, but shipping is expensive because it's from Italy. <laughs> Ugh, I can't open it because it's like really sealed in the top. I mean, which is good, so it stays fresh, but this is the Earl Grey Imperial from Italy, a company called Babington's, um, and the citrus that it has in it. My girl Nova's in the house. Hello, love. We're decluttering my monstrous tea collection today which is really fun. So, Miss Nova Stars in the chat, y'all. <laughs> um, I only have like one cup of this left. You're decluttering lately too. Awesome, yeah, we decluttered. Oh, that would have been too painful to do live online for a video. We decluttered some of our board games, but mostly what we did is we got rid of a lot of the big bulky boxes um, and have them stored in other ways that take up less space. So, and I'm always like decluttering my wardrobe and stuff. But yeah, Earl Grey Imperial from Babington's. If anyone's in Italy <laughs> and wants to pick me up some of this, it's so magical. It's so magical. And you have to literally like pry this open with a tool. So that ain't gonna go bad anytime soon. But I was actually gonna drink that today. And then I forgot. <laughs> um, I was thinking about giving away the teas I'm not keen keeping, whoa, that almost was a weird word, um, to people that are local, but also possibly the chat had the brilliant idea because I really want to look into making beauty products with tea, maybe looking into using some of the teas I'm not keeping for that because I'm not going to be drinking it. Super good ideas. Oh, but 
here, I might as well announce this here right now. So friends, I am so close to 900, which subscribers here on YouTube, which means I'm so close to 1000. And I've decided what I'm going to do when I hit 1000 subscribers. So if y'all want to help me get there, tell your friends about our tea parties we have on the show. Um, because when we hit a thousand, I'm going to be going shopping for some bulk tea ingredients, blending my own tea for you on an episode, and then doing a giveaway for however many tea samples I can get out of what I blend. So I'm really excited about that. And I have been planning this for a while, but I got to get to a thousand in order to do that. Thanks, Amanda. So yeah, spread the word about our little tea parties. Um... And hopefully we'll get to a thousand. Um, this is pineapple ginger white tea. Ah! It exploded. It's fine. There's a lot in it. I dropped this one on the floor. Oops. Ah! So good, so good. This is also really great for cold brew. White teas, you don't need to cold brew for as long either. Like a black tea, I'll usually like leave overnight. Eh. This is so full. <laughs> I am not strong enough. Oh. I got it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ooh, that sounds really cool. I've never thought about mixing my own teas. Yeah, it's really, really cool. And I mean, I kind of do it. Oh, I need a break with my leg. I get my cast off tomorrow, friends. Yay. Then I have to wear a giant orthopedic boot, but I don't have to sleep with it. So, oh, just need a little, a little break for my hip. But yeah, you can blend your own teas. My sister, younger sister Kelly, has actually been blending her own teas lately. Um, and she's really brilliant at it, so that's good. Although she puts, uh, she puts raspberry leaves into everything because she's like trying to get me to like raspberry teas and I just don't. Thank you, Amanda. I'm excited to get this cast off. So let's do a big one. This is in multiple languages. Um, cardamom tea. I don't have that much of this left. Oh, one like beautiful thing about having so many different stores that love tea is you can find some really amazing stuff. However, I've had this for way too long. People using old tea bags in their baths. Ooh, that sounds awesome. Unfortunately, this apartment house thing that I live in was built in the 1950s, and I'm pretty sure it's the original bathtub. It's not a cute looking bathtub, so I don't take baths in it. But I have a little bucket I use to soak my feet, so I could totally do that. I feel like this is totally something I could use in a beauty product though, because the reason that I don't drink this anymore is because it oversteeps so easily. Like, it's just bitter. And I've tried messing with the amount of tea I use, messing with the time that I brew it, and I'm like, maybe it's just too old because it's just bitter. And I have a, I have a really, I have a heft, I mean, I, I obviously had a lot, but I have a good amount in here left, so I probably could use this for something. So, that one is going over there. We're doing pretty good, guys. We're down now to, a single layer of tea. We've gone through all of this. So, yes, I'm wearing pajama pants. Hey, I usually do, even when I dress up and I put makeup on with like a cute blouse or something. Yep, <laughs> I usually have pajama pants on. Um, all right. This is also from my friend Casey. My friend Casey takes these like epic whirlwind vacations like once a year and she brings me back a tea from wherever she is in the world. 
So I got the tea from Italy from her. I got the chamomile from London from her and she went to Ireland last year and got me some Irish breakfast tea and look how gorgeous this tin is. After this tea is gone, I'm keeping this tin. And I love using tea tins for storing other things like nuts and rice and lentils and all sorts of stuff. I'm actually, I'm, I'm running low on this. The stand. I have gotten rid of quite a few. It's pretty good for a first pass. The Twining's Earl Grey, it's not made with real bergamot, but it's still really good. Also almost empty. I love when things just come in their own tins and stuff because it just makes my life easier. Not having to worry too much about tea storage. Um, this is the Tazo chai. We got this not that long ago. It's really good. We like to stock up on chais in the colder. I mean, we live in Southern California. <laughs> it's cold today. It's 75 degrees. Uh, yeah, we stock up on chai in the winter and fall months. And this is really good and it's organic. So huzzah. All right, all right. Where is, where is, I'm looking for this one, right. Decaf Irish breakfast tea when I want black tea and it's late. And also I have a box with some tea bags and this is almost empty. So I'm actually gonna restock the decaf here so I can get rid of this box. So you wish it was warmer here. Oh, you're in bed with electric blanket on and it's still cold. I feel you. I'm sorry. It's not fun. I grew up in New York State and it is quite cold. Um, sorry about all the crinkling noise. Um, yeah, I. you know what I used to do instead of an electric blanket? I used to have an electric mattress cover heater. So the heat came from like underneath and like the blanket heat catches it and uh, electric mattress cover heater. Oh, uh, that saved me on so many winter nights. Um, that's why you cold brew, I guess. It's so cold rainy here. Yeah, I mean like I just do whatever I'm in the mood for. Cold brewing especially is great if we're having company over like we are on Thursday for Thanksgiving because we can brew a lot of tea with minimal effort <laughs> and then people can just have what they want. Um, that weather sounds lovely. It's predicted to be 15 degrees in New York for Thanksgiving. <sighs> I hope at least it's a white Thanksgiving because that's the worst, right? Like when it gets like wintry cold really early and then it doesn't even snow. You're like, what's the point? <laughs> what's the point though? Ah, uh, all right. So refilled this, got rid of the other box. So that needed to be done. So that's good. I got these jars from the dollar store, by the way, the 99 cent only store. You can find them online in some places for really cheap. It came with the little chalkboard thing and I just got a chalkboard marker from the craft store. Um, these are great, super great. What is this? Ooh, this I think I'm getting rid of. This is autumn apple rebos from Trader Joe's. I only have a couple tea bags left and it has been around for so long. I'm getting rid of this one and I'm gonna keep the ja. So I'm gonna, I only have like a couple tea bags left. So I'm just gonna put those there, keep the jar. Maybe I can fit most of, whoops. Cause there's a lot of this, but hopefully I can fit most of the chai. Oh, it's already snowed. So it better be white for Christmas. I feel you. I am, I am hoping for white Christmases for all of you if you're in that kind of climate. <laughs> it was always the best. Um, or white holidays, whether you celebrate the solstice or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or anything. Like my, I have a sister who's a Wiccan and she celebrates like the equinoxes and the solstices and stuff every year. Ah, this, this is kind of funny. I, I got this as a gift for my birthday. The most lovely tin. Can we talk about how beautiful this is? Just this beautiful rosy metallic pink color and then the white tin with the pink reflective. However, this tea is two things that I despise, raspberry and hibiscus. <laughs> but it's made for cold brewing specifically, which 
the only thing that that means is it's a bigger bag with the right amount measured out for you. So all you have to do is just take your thing of water, stick this in, and hibiscus only steeps for like three hours because it can get bitter really quick. So, I mean, it doesn't smell that bad to me, but I know people that really like this and we are gonna be cold brewing this for Thanksgiving because there's only one bag left and it's meant for cold brewing. And then I get to keep this phenomenal tin. I mean, come on, this is beautiful. Do you want this now, Jacob? So that, yay. Thank you, honey. Okay. I'm gonna help him chop vegetables and stuff after this, if there's still more. We're doing like a potluck thing for Thanksgiving, so there's not too much stress on anybody to cook certain things. So I thought about maybe doing that today, like me sitting chopping vegetables and talking with you, but I thought that this would be better. All right, sampler packs, these are both staying and they are very well loved. One of them in this is completely gone already. I featured this in a video, how to get started with tea or something like that. And the lychee black tea is all gone. It was the one I tried on the episode and it is my favorite thing ever and now it's it's gone. So this is a black tea sampler pack with this hat from Bird Pick. So it has a breakfast tea, the lychee black tea, which is gone a Juko Hong Mai black tea and a Ki Moon black. I reach, I've been reaching for that Ki Moon black so much lately. All right, and this is an oolong sampler pack that Jacob got for himself from the same company and he freaking loves it. Jacob is a big oolong person. Zero, that's dang. And like the tea things inside are so cute. I, I'm actually missing the tea from that tea container from that one because when I have a tea that a friend really likes if I have like the necessary materials I will just like take an empty thing of this fill it excuse me fill it with the tea and then send them on their way with that I'm the tea fairy it's just a thing but like how cute are those or these are really great for traveling too I'll just like pick one out and throw it tape it shut at the top throw it in my bag it's a good day all right. Big old thing of Ferris. Yeah, the tea fairy. <laughs> That's me. Um, yeah. Mm, big old container of Paris from Jacob's parents for my birthday. Because his mom watches my show sometimes and she knows how much I love tea. And they, this is a big container. This is the seven ounce, which is like the next size up. Where's another Harney one? Which is like the next size up from a four ounce. And I have two of these. And any of you that have tried this, you know the magic that is Paris tea. It's so good, it's so good. I'm not good at this. All right. Ooh, this tea is really old, really old. And it's one of the most expensive teas from Tivana. This was given to me through someone else that it was gifted to and they had already had it for a few years and I've had it for at least four years, if not more. It's Golden Monkey from Tivana. This has to go. This has to be like 10 years old. It's really sad. It's a very pretty earthy tea, but it's so old, it's so old. Like, I don't even know the number of years they had it before they passed it on to me. It's just a lot. Ooh, readjusting. <laughs> yeah, it's a no, for sure. Like, gosh, that tea per ounce at Tivana was so expensive, like, so expensive. Um, all right, and now moving on. This is also some non-decaffeinated Irish breakfast, but it's not the Harney and Sons because that's gone. I featured that on a tea of the month in March. Irish breakfast in March, of course. This is just a regular Irish breakfast from Trader Joe's that I keep in here, but it's still labeled correctly. It's still an Irish breakfast. I love having like, I love high quality teas, obviously, but it's really nice just having some casual tea, you know, like sometimes I just don't want to get the extra container out or get a an infuser dirty or whatever. 
I just want to throw a tea bag and enjoy it. So it's good stuff. Also, this is good to like remind me of what I have because this is a, a, like, it's not super deep, but it's deep enough where I can forget about things sometimes. So the Trader Joe's Irish breakfast is pretty good. It's a really good basic tea. It's definitely better than Lipton. Um, but it's not like super, super special. But if someone asks me like where to go to get into tea, they'd always be like, oh, should I go to Tivana? I'm like, don't go to Tivana when you're starting. Go to Trader Joe's. They actually have a new loose leaf Earl Grey, I think. And I really want to try. I really want to try it. Um, so while we're on a Harney and Sons kick, <laughs> aren't I always... For those of you that listened to the podcast last week, you know about these a little bit. These were just sent to me by Harney and Sons last week. I did a live unboxing on Instagram. Yeah, maybe I'm an addict. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> I don't have more than one to two cups of tea a day. And like several times a week, I just don't have any tea at all that day. So at least I like space it out. I just love it so much. It's just joy. I just spilled that all over myself. Yay me. Cute. One take, here we go. Okay, so these two were just sent to me. I saw this tea on Harney and Sons Instagram stories. I'm friends with their PR person and I reached out and uh, she was like, let me send you some. And they sent this, this is Chocolate Chai Supreme. Mm, if it makes you happy, why not my dear? Very true, Beverly, very true. And you have one cup of tea a day like people have coffee, right? And like coffee has certain health benefits, but it's much easier to overdo the caffeine with coffee and too much caffeine is not good. If I have too much caffeine, like I had one day where I had like a coffee tea meeting and I had, I had a tea tasting right after. And even though I was like just drinking tea, the caffeine messed up my anxiety for the rest of the day. Um, yes, these two teas are amazing. So the chocolate chai supreme, like just look at the pieces in there. It doesn't taste terribly chocolate to me. It, the vanilla comes through a bit stronger. Um, and I like it. It's not my favorite. Jacob loves this though. But without asking, they sent me this tea. And this tea is out of this world. This is hot apple spice, which is like three different kinds of cinnamon, apple pieces, orange pieces. It tastes like New York in the fall. And like, it's almost like a mix between a spicy cider and a black tea, cause it is a black tea. So I was planning on featuring this as my December tea of the month, but I think I'm gonna actually feature the one I didn't even ask for, <laughs> which was very exciting. All right. Ooh, hot cinnamon sunset. Just picked up some more of this. I featured this as my October. October tea of the month? Or was it my November tea of the month? I think it was my October tea of the month. I think. But yeah, you guys know all about this stuff. It's stupid. It's so good. <sighs> okay. Ooh, this is another really old one. But it does come in a really good tin. Um, this is a jasmine tea. Also many languages. Jasmine tea. Um, see the way the tin is? It has the top and then it has the extra seal. These are the best things to keep tea in. Let me smell this. Ugh. Yo, I think I got this because my parents were still living in Maryland. I think I got this at H Mart. This is also really old. This is at least six or seven years old. I mean, it still smells good. The leaves are really long. This is not terribly processed. Um, and you can still see all the jasmine petals in there. I might see if I can use this one for like a beauty product thing. Because the only reason I'm not putting it straight in the trash is because the container is so good and the tea is such a whole tea. I did something with this, I think in the first year of Tea Time with Mary, I did an episode where I like did a jasmine green tea review. Before there was tea of the month, there were like tea reviews. 
Um, and I notoriously am not a huge fan of most green teas. And I basically like Muppety flapped how to freak out. It was really fun. So this one, no for drinking. Yes, possibly for beauty stuff. All right, we are almost done friends. I was hoping that this would be about an hour and look how, look how good we're doing. We're doing so great. All right, let me turn this box around. Loose leaf women, let's do these. They don't ship internationally, which makes me really sad, but it's a girl powered tea company out of Seattle, Washington. And all of their teas feature a different, oh, I think what I did, right. I did the chestnut tea as my tea of the month, which I am out of <laughs> for November. Uh, this is Misty's Magical Wishes Tea, which is a vanilla caramel tea that has candy sprinkles in it. I think I've talked about this one on the show before. You can kind of see, ah, yeah, if I rotate it, you can see the sprinkles. <laughs> I know the green tea is staying, but not for drinking. Um, let's see. So yeah, this one staying also comes in a really good tea. It has the extra lip in there. Oh, I'd love to stay, but you've got to head into work for the next 12 hours. Oh, I'm so glad too that you had a chance to catch up. So yeah, I'm gonna be posting this so you all can uh, like rewatch it or if you did miss it, I'm so glad that you're hanging out. I know obviously this is a longer video than my usual like seven and a half minute format, but this has been really fun. I'm so glad, so glad Neko Angel of Wrath you were able to make it. I see all your comments and I just, I really appreciate you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And have a good shift. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. So, I also talked about this one as well in the summer because I thought I would hate this tea, which I think is the title of the video. Uh, this is Catty Kitty's Afternoon Gossip Tea, which is Darjeeling with a whisper of lavender. And the balance of lavender in this is perfect because it can't be too much. And I actually talked to the maker of this tea and she was like, I feel the same way about lavender teas, which is why there's like not a ton of it in there. And I was like, it's perfect. Almost out of this. This is really, really good sweetened as well. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, yikes, Mary. You gotta get rid of some of these. Um, There's only one serving of this left. The instant ginger tea, which is really good. I really, really wanna find a vegan version of this because this is ginger sweetened with honey. Um, and I really wish it wasn't made with honey. So if anyone knows of any instant ginger teas that either have a different kind of sweetener or that are unsweetened that I could add my own, let me know because yes, this stuff is really good when you're sick because it punches you in the face lovingly. Uh, but yeah, we'll probably finish that up. That's so funny that a lot of these teas are like almost gone. I should probably like put those ones at the front so I drink those ones first and then it'll feel like I decluttered more. Mmm. Organic mint melange from Trader Joe's. This stuff's brilliant, super good. What is this? Ooh, this is another old one. So this is Portland Rose Siji Chai, which was sent to me from Plum Deluxe a few years ago. And I just don't drink it and it's old. So I think I'm actually gonna get rid of that one. Cool. And ooh, this is a really good um, organic rooibos, which I've kept sealed up tight from the American house in Old Town San Diego. They have a really good tea shop down there with all the little markets and everything. So this is staying. One of Jacob's favorites is rooibos tea. Magic. And then I have three of these. This is the almond tea. Man, every time I look at this, I'm just like, I don't drink it though. I don't, I don't drink it. And it's a white tea. Yeah, it just doesn't smell right. It's too old, it's too old. Goodbye, thank you for your service. Uh, ooh, Capital Cocoa Tea. This is also almost gone. I had my little brother drink this on the show because he doesn't like tea. And he actually liked this one. So I sent him home with a container of it. Oh, those chocolate chips in there though. And this one's almost gone as well. 
So, staying, it'll be interesting in like a month, once hopefully I have finished the almost empty teas. Um, ooh, I love this one. This is actually a green tea, which I forgot that I had this until Jacob dug it out of the shelf for me. But this is the green tea with toasty brown rice. I can't remember the Japanese name for it. Uh, also from Bird Pick. So good, so easy. Yeah, the green teas I, I like are either like a high quality jasmine green tea, not steeped too long or otherwise it tastes not so great, or uh, toasty brown rice. Ugh, it's just so nutty and beautiful. And it's not old. I just bought more of this a couple months ago and it's in bags and sealed away in here. Okay, so that's the last one. Let me put the teas that I'm getting rid of back in the box that all of the teas were in. I am going to be saving some of the containers, but I just want to like see the teas that I'm getting rid of. Like obviously I'm going to save this jar and clean it out. Thank you, Amanda. It's called, I'm going to butcher this name, Ginmaicha, Ginmaicha, maybe. Obviously saving this tin, but getting rid of it. Okay, so we did like pretty good. I would say I probably got rid of a third of this. So, not bad for a first pass. And I'll save this container too. Okay, so these are all the teas that we got rid of today. That's pretty good. Thank you, yes I will pat myself on the back. Good job me, good job me. And now I'm gonna have more room to organize this. Oh, good old coffee tea bar, doing good stuff. If you watch the video about how I made this, this is not real marble. Hey, how are you, Katie? I am just about to wrap up. I'm sorry that you missed most of it, but I am gonna be posting this like right afterwards. I just decluttered my whole tea collection with everybody watching. And yeah, I would say I, I got rid of about a third, a third of what I have. So I still have, <laughs> so this is what I'm keeping. Cute. And thank you, Katie. This is what I'm not keeping. Potentially going to give to local friends slash looking to beauty product uses for these. Um, yeah, and I would say probably five or six of the ones that I'm keeping are almost gone. So I'm gonna try to prioritize to getting rid of those first because it will free up more space. Um, yeah. And I know organization is super fun. I am really tired, but I will for sure, you'll be able to see the organization. I'll post a picture of it on Instagram when I'm done. Uh, Cause I am pretty pooped. I know Christmas tea gifts. <laughs> I know I always get like 10 things of tea for Christmas also. So yep, getting ready, preparing for that in a good way. Cause I love it. Yeah, so I'm tired. Surgery recovery, man. I already have less energy than the average human. Now I have even less. Um, but I feel really good. I feel really satisfied. And I think once it's all up here, it'll feel really, really great, um, which is exciting. And hopefully maybe we'll see when I get my cast off tomorrow, um, maybe I'll be able to sit in chairs less painfully. <laughs> So I'll be able to be back on the regular set. So, have you tried peanut butter and apples? Yes, peanut butter with apples is one of my favorite things. And yes, no phone in bed. Thank you for the reminder, Beverly, because I'm, I'm terrible about that. But yeah, okay, yo, if you like peanut butter and apples, I'm like the dip queen like I, i'm notorious for just being able to go into my kitchen inviting a bunch of people over um and 
not even knowing what's in my kitchen and just being able to whip something up. So one of my favorite dips is peanut butter, cinnamon, nutmeg, cocoa powder, maple syrup, and a little bit of almond milk and you whip it together with like a whisk and it becomes like a mousse consistency and it's like chocolate peanut butter gift from heaven. It's so good. It's so good. I know. I know, Amanda. Like what? Um, it's really, really magical. I don't know. I'm just like, all of this would probably taste good and then I just throw something together. Or like, I don't buy salted peanut butter, so I'll usually add some salt to it. Um, yes, I'll write that recipe somewhere. I should just make an episode about it. I'm kind of thinking, I'm like, I feel like I should branch the channel out in another direction a little bit and just like, you know, a wider variety of content because like I don't have enough board games and stuff to do regular gaming content um, and stuff like that. And I definitely want to do tea related beauty products, which we talked about with the group earlier. But I'm like, maybe I should do more recipes. Like I've had friends, they're like, Mary, you're a really good cook. Like you're brilliant. You should do more like recipes and stuff on the channel. And I have two cameras now. So if you notice from the cookie recipe video I did the other day, um, we're able to set up two cameras for recipes so that you can see both things. So, oh, I'm glad that you guys are into the possibility of recipe things. So that'll be exciting. They can't all be tea related, of course, but they will, they will all be vegan, but they're still delicious. I wouldn't like put anything up there that's not good. <laughs> and I'm picky because I love sweets. Cooking with Mary. Good idea. Good idea. Um, yeah, and once I start feeling a little bit better, I'll be able to do that. <laughs> Cook with Mary drinking tea. I know. There's always, there's always tea involved. Mmm. Oh, you're vegan too. That's great. Yeah. Um, Katie, all of the recipes on my channel right now are, are vegan recipes. So just because that's what I make, I usually don't make a big deal about it. The fact that it's vegan. Um, cause that's just like how I have to eat. Um, but I'm just like, this is really delicious. You should make it. Oh, by the way, it's vegan. Not that it matters. Um, so yeah. Mm -mm. Yes, if you haven't made those pumpkin cookies that I made for Sunday's video, you should make them. We're making more today. Because <laughs> that's going to be our dessert for Thanksgiving. Because um, they're so pillowy and, and lovely. So Amanda had some the other day when she came over. Um, oh yeah, also, really quick before I go, I, I'm going to be recording the podcast today for Thursday. We're recording it in like uh, just a little bit from now and I need a couple more bits of good news. Oh yeah, it's, it's late over there, huh? Um, but really quick, if anyone who's watching right now has any good news that happened to them this week that they would want me to maybe feature on the podcast, please tell me now um, because yes, so Oh, you have some news. So I think Twining's Lemon and Ginger Herbal Tea is vegan friendly. Yeah, a lot of teas themselves are vegan friendly, except for, of course, the bird pick ginger, the instant ginger. I really, really want to find a vegan version of this. Um, so yeah, if anyone has any good news, holler it at me now before I sign off. Uh-oh. <coughs> so yeah, just something good that happened to you this week, um, because I, I have like two but I need one more. Um, of course, I haven't checked my socials in the last hour since we started. So, thank you. Thank you. I might have another sneeze coming. Oh, dear. Nope. But, yeah. Or, you know, if I, if I sign off before you think of something, feel free to send it to me. I forgot to put out my posts earlier. Yesterday felt like Sunday for some reason and not like Monday. So, I forgot to put it out. Oh, you went to more exercise classes than you've ever been to. That's amazing. And that's a good bit of self-care as well. Um, yeah, like exercise is a really good stress relief. Um, so that's really amazing that you're taking the initiative for yourself. Um, and even in the collab video I did with Beverly about self-care, 
I talked about, um, you know, if, if you have some kind of limitation, like I have uh, physical disability problems and stuff, like just finding exercise that works for you at your level, even just doing something really gentle can really, really make a difference. So if, does anyone else have any good news from this week? Last call, last call for good news. Um, oh, I'm gonna drink a little bit more tea. I think also some of these teas were dusty, so that might be why I was sneezing. This has been so wonderful. I'm so thankful that so many of you took a little time out of your day to come and hang out with me. Ooh, you have a job interview. I'm just like screenshotting when you guys comment <laughs> so that uh, I have it for the podcast. So that's very exciting, Rebecca. I know job hunting can be like crazy. Oh, I'm so glad, Katie, that the podcasts have been good for you. I've received some really touching messages from people over the last few weeks. Oh, I'm so glad. It's like I am your friend. And Jacob's the best, and he really loves doing it too. Um, so I got some new microphone stands this week, so hopefully we'll be able to look at each other and talk into the mics and also not have them block our faces as much because that was bothering me sound editing wise, like just the moving all the time and also visually just having the big, um, the big pop filters, just like in front of our faces. All right, I'm gonna sign off friends. Um, I will do more live streams like this, I think, especially while I'm recovering because it's less work for me. Um, and now that I know that y'all are into it and down to hang out. I think I'll definitely do more of these. I hope this is an okay time. I know it's like a little later in the UK, but people are still awake. Um, it's it's hard because I have so many people from all of the places. If anything, it's probably not the greatest time for the time zone that I'm in. <laughs> like a 2 p.m. on a Friday. So thanks for all the well wishes, friends. The next time I will see you, well, the podcast, I'm still going to have the, ca the cast because I'm missing it today. But next week, I am not going to have a cast on anymore. So that's very exciting. Um, thank you all so much. Um, you're all so wonderful. Thank you for all of the loving comments. And I'm really, really looking forward to seeing you all again. You look so great. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving, Rebecca. You too. Alrighty, I'm gonna sign off now. Love you guys. Bye.